In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an image smaller on an iPhone because of course, all of the images that you have in your gallery have a certain size and you may want to share your file, share the photo, upload it somewhere where there is a limit on how big the file can actually get. So for example, here in the photos app, you can see that this is a photo which I can click on and get to the information panel by clicking on this thing right here. And you can see that this photo is just 99 kilobytes. So this one is really small. But there may be some other photos which are much larger. For example, this one with the fried eggs is 3.8 megabytes. And you can see it always by clicking on the information icon here in the Photos app. So each photo has its size. You can see it's in the format of JPEG. You can even see the camera information and the resolution and all the stuff. But here you can see the size as well. In order to, to compress it and to make it smaller, you're going to need to download a third-party app for it. And I'm going to show you the one which I like, which is the one which I just downloaded it's a part of my purchases so compress photos you can see this is the app that i was talking about it it allows you to compress photos and pictures and make the size smaller so open it up and there are some ads and some in-app purchases but you don't really need to do that to get the job done make sure to allow access to all your photos and ask app not to track it's not really that important so you can get the pro version but you can select the photos and you can see that it even says uh, or it tells me uh, the size of the file when i click on it so you can see it's uh, three megabytes for this one so i'm going to click on the next with this one photo selected and i can choose what i want to achieve so here you can uh, slide the quality you can just raise it to the best and worst and make sure to change uh, the size accordingly or have uh, this slider to lower down the resolution of the photo, which both combined are going to make the, the photo look terrible. And this is going to make it 100%. So make sure to play around with it. For example, you want to just lower the resolution a bit and make the quality good. So you're going to click on compress and now the photo should start compressing. It's finished now. And the photo has jumped from 3 megabytes to 114 kilobytes. So we saved 2.8 megabytes. Now you can delete the original if you want or keep one original. And now if you're going to come back to the photos, the latest photo in my gallery is indeed the one which has not 114, but 115 kilobytes and is the one compressed. You can see full size render compressed and you don't have any lens information, only the exact resolution or dimensions that we actually picked. So you can see which app was also used to make this photo available to you. So it was used by this exact app. And this is exactly how you can get it to work. Of course, this works with any photo, it doesn't matter what it is, but you can see inside of the app how big it was before and how big it is after. So it's definitely really useful for you in case, like I said, want to upload it to like some website or something, it's really useful. By the way, if you want to know how to copy the text from a photo on your iPhone or iPad, check out this video right here in which I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve this result.